All right, welcome to this and Boards Trade. Again, it's November 18th. We're looking at a stock Ally, a banking stock. It's currently trading 30 and a half, and this trade is for January, which the symbol is F, and this again is for IT1. Just a quick note, uh, I'm not a licensed professional. I was a floor trader for 20 years, and I've developed a way to teach students how to trade. The products that exist, I feel, uh, aren't great for educational purposes, so I've created a product that's smaller, it's safer, and it's simpler to understand. So if you like what we're doing, and uh, you're interested, and you wanna learn more, please think of being a member of the Hudson Board of Trade, and, uh, I can teach you how, you how we play this game, and in the process of playing this game, you will learn how to be an options trader. Anyways, uh, IT1 uh, wanted to create a positive one stock position in this stock, Ally, trading $30.50, and this is again in January. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a small gap here, right? And we are gonna buy the 31 call. going to buy that and that is in January symbol is F all right this is a graph of the 31 call that's going to cost us one dollar okay then uh, we are going to sell this is actually connected we're going to sell a put this is a graph of selling a put right right down here positive one slope when you sell a put this is also the 31 put this is in January also. So we are selling the put and we are buying the call. This creates a synthetic uh, stock position, positive one slope. When we sell that put, we're gonna collect a dollar twenty-five, right? So a twenty-five cent credit. Why don't people always do this? I don't know. Uh, but they go out and buy the regular stock. That's an argument for a different day. So now we've created this positive one slope by buying the call and selling the put. Okay, I don't like my students to sell puts naked. So I'm gonna take this 25 cent credit and guess what we can buy for 25 cents? The 28 put in January also, symbol F. Right, so I have a positive one slope from the put I sold on the 31 line. I have a negative one slope from the put that I bought on the 28 line. When I add these slopes up, I get a zero slope. Zero slopes have flat lines. So I'm left with a graph like this. Okay. So now, and that put cost me 25 cents. So I'm into the trade for zero. I have $3 of risk on the downside. That only happens if Ally, a stock that we think is going higher, sells off below 28. I'm going to lose $3. And if the stock goes up the way I expect it to or the way IT1 expects it to, we're going to be able to participate as it goes up above 31 and it's trading 30 half currently until January and we can take this trade off at any time. So if you like what we're doing here, if you think it's cool but you might not understand it, please think of being a member of the Hudson Board of Trade. Uh, again, I think I've created a game that teaches options trading and I've created a product that doesn't exist. Uh, and so please, uh, if you're interested, subscribe to my YouTube channel, thumbs up my videos, comment, um, and then also think of being a member at the Hudson Board of Trade. Appreciate it.